Hey everyone, welcome back to another video of Buy Infinity Drones. Today we're going to take a look at how you can downgrade the firmware of your Air 2 and your Air 2S, even though you've upgraded to the latest version. This is the latest drone hacks update, version 1.25, and this is a nice and very, very useful upgrade. So let's say you had an Air 2 or an Air 2S, or a similar drone and you upgraded past a certain point and now you were unable to downgrade your device so in this case you will come to the bird map on the drone hacks website very easy to get go to the drone hacks website and we want to maybe say we want to downgrade the air 2s if you click on the air 2s and you were maybe on the latest firmware because it updated you were not able to downgrade automatically it prevented you from downgrading but with the new version of drone hacks version 1.25 you are now able to downgrade to the earlier version. Now, the problem is, is that you can't just downgrade um, without buying the license. You'll have to purchase the license to be able to downgrade. So you need to decide, is this what you want? Remember, the DroneX application can change your drone from CE mode to FCC mode, giving you much better range. Once again, if you are in the US already, then, well, there's no real benefit there. But if you are outside of the US and you need some better signal quality, then this is a really a must have mod like for us outside of the us this is really really key now if you've downgraded your device um, your drone to this version of here then you're also able to remove the no fly zones and the altitude limit so this is the cherry pick firmware that you want to be on and if you go look online and you take a look at the firmware release notes dji really did not do anything significant on these basically all they did is try and block you from downgrading to the cherry pick firmware so let's say we are currently on this firmware over here and we want to downgrade to this one the only real way that you can do this is by purchasing a license so first things first you need to find out what firmware you are on now there are two ways you can do this the first one is you can turn your drone on and connect to the fly app click on the top three um, dots on the top right and then you go to about and you can check and take a look at what your current firmware is the other option isn't the one that I prefer because let's face it, we are already interested in modding the drone is I would just go straight to the download page. I click on the DJI one because I want to downgrade my DJI drone. And then I'm going to click on the download button for the DroneX application. Please note, Windows 10 and above. Okay, it does not work on Windows 7 and it does not work on Mac. So if you do not have a Windows 10 machine, please go ask a mate if you can borrow their machine for like 30 minutes and you can do this. Simply click download button and you're going to download. Do not worry about this. There's a whole tutorial on how to use at the top here if you want to go a bit more into depth about the Android APK. That's maybe for the Mavic 3 or if you've got an Air 1 user. But if you purchase the license, then you really want to have all the bells and whistles. So let's say you've clicked on this, you've downloaded the application, just simply click on it. It'll download to your machine, quite simple very small little files i think 20 megs and then what you can do then is you can simply go and buy a license now you don't have to go to the buy a license one if you've never done this before click on account and go create yourself an account sign up but you don't have to go through this this is the long way me i would always just go create an account use a generic gmail account and a generic password because the license will get linked to the serial number of the drone so if you sell the drone or crash the drone and you get a new drone well, you have to buy the license again if you want the mod to work. Okay, so it, it's linked to the drone itself. So the easiest way for me is to go to the bird map. And then I want to go mod an Air 2S. So if I click on the Air 2S and I'm currently on this firmware for recheck, then you will notice that I need to downgrade. So to downgrade, I will need to buy the license. If you want to buy the license, it's quite simple. You click on buy a license. That's the options over there. You can click to proceed to check out. Now, please note once again, you need to have a PayPal account. Now over here, you guys can see that I can go through the whole process to enter my details, or if you want to, you can click, and you can have an account and you can log in. Okay, and so in my case, I am not going to log in and purchase another license because I have already bought it. It's a very basic one. You log in with your PayPal details. If you connect to PayPal, you log in, you make a payment, and you will get it loaded to your drone hacks account that you created. There's no need to check the email. There's no need to do any of the other stuff. It just, it will be in your drone hacks account that you've created. That's all you need to know. So once you've done this, you will go and you will open your drone hacks application. 
Now, once you've opened your drone hacks application, you might get a pop-up like this. Simply just click run anyway. Make sure your antivirus is closed and if you have any firewalls blocking it, please make sure that you're not on that as well. If you're using maybe a VPN or something, just be careful on that. But once you're over here, the idea is, is that you can connect your drone to the machine. You don't need to have bought the license. You can just download the application and connect and plug your drone into the PC with the USB-C cable and then turn it on and it will automatically read your firmware for you as well. So if you don't want to open the app and check the firmware version, you can just turn it on, plug it into the application and it's free of charge feature. You do not need to pay for this yet. But once you've logged in with your account, then you've got your drone plugged in. It will automatically detect the drone and check if there is a firmware or a license already linked to that drone. And if there's none, it will request, will check your account. You've got a free license available. Then it will ask if you would like to link that license to your drone. If you click link or register, then essentially it will take that license and it will bind it to the drone. Meaning it's a one-time thing. You can't unbind it. It's, it's fixed to the drone. But then the hacking tab in the original firmware options are going to become available. So what we will need to do is we will click on this one and we are going to click on the download firmware one. Now we already know from the drone, uh, drone hacks application that we want to be on the correct firmware. So what we'll do is, is we go to DGI, we'll want to download that firmware over there. So it's quite simple. You click in drone hacks, click on the download firmware option and it should automatically if your drone is turned on automatically populate this for you but in the case it does not it's quite simple you click the drone model that you want in this case i would like to have an a2s i'm going to select the firmware that i want and i want to click for the aircraft click submit and you'll click the download button that is it now you're downloading the firmware to your machine now with the latest drone hacks application um, and the Air 2 and the Air 2S firmware, there's going to be a special one that is going to pop up and ask you. I'm just going to really show you how to get to it quickly without going through the whole process of the application. But the drone hacks application is actually quite smart. It'll actually tell you, listen, you've got this firmware currently, you want to flash, but to be able to be successful, you must download another version. As you can see, yeah, it doesn't even show the secret source firmware for you here until you have um, gone to the correct process. So you need to link the license to your drone. Once you've done that and you click flash firmware down here, a pop-up is going to appear and say, listen, you need to have the special firmware, click download, and it's going to take you to the dank download page again, and you will then be able to download the special firmware. Once that's done, you will be able to flash that firmware to your drone. And once the special firmware has been loaded, you will then be able to downgrade to the correct firmware version. So for those of you guys that have watched my walkthrough video, I would really recommend that you watch that video again because this whole new DroneX 1.25 essentially is just an add-on to that. You just have an additional firmware flash that you need to do for certain drones to be able to downgrade to the correct firmware and flash the mod. So I am going to link the walkthrough tutorial and it's got chapters in the description in the or below as well as in the card in the top right um, but if you've got any questions please leave it in the comments below please guys if you find the video and the information that i'm providing useful please consider to subscribe it really does help out the channel okay so we've downloaded the firmware we've got everything that we need now to proceed with the downgrade of the firmware so you can see we've just logged into our drone X. we've connected the drone we're just going to give it a while to um, log in, checking the firmware. As you can see my firmware currently is the newer firmware and obviously it's not close to the recommended one. So remember, I've just logged in with my DroneX account and it's immediately picked up that the drone does not have a license linked to it. So now all I need to do is just click register license and it will essentially link that license that I've purchased with this drone serial number. Now please note, remember it's with this drone's serial number. It's not with anything else. It's with this drone. So if you ever sell this drone or get rid of it, please give the DroneX account with it because then the new owner can have the benefit of this. Once you're ready to proceed, go to the Flash Original DJI Firmware tab and click on the Download Firmware button. Now, on this button, it's automatically going to launch the web browser and automatically fill in the required information on the Dank Drone Downloader page. All you need to do is just click Submit 
and then start to download the firmware. Now, remember, we are now downloading the firmware version that we require, which is .2020, and we are essentially going to flash the correct firmware. But see what happens now. This is where um, the new DroneX actually fixes the issue. So we're going to select the firmware we just downloaded, which is uh, version .20.40 at the end, as you can see there. So select it, click open, and then you see what happens. It automatically pops up when you click flash firmware. It tells you you need to have 09090900. Now that's not in the dank drone downloader page at all. It's only there if you click and download it via the DroneX application. As you can see now, same website, same place, but now you get a different version of the firmware you can download. So please download this one because this is what you need to get past the anti-rollback version number and essentially be able to downgrade the previous version. So I've sped up a few things on this um, download, obviously to make it a bit faster, but once it's finished downloading, all you do is just go back to the drone, um, drone X application, go to Flash with DJI Original Firmware, select the firmware we've just downloaded, remember, the 09091, as you can see, there we go, click open and click flash. Now, if the flash button stays gray, it's because your drone hacks account hasn't logged in yet. So just give it some time to log in. It could be because of a slow internet connection or something like that. So just wait, be patient, and you're going to see you'll be able to flash it. As you can see now, I've just sped it up, I think, 5,000 times. So it took, well, a lot quicker than it would have normally. Make sure your battery is fully charged, please. And now you can see that we are on the correct firmware version on the top left. You can see we are on 09.09.0900, which means that we are now able to um, install or try and flash the correct firmware. Now, as you can see there, we are in the correct one. We're just checking once more, but we want to flash the firmware which we can in install the mods on. So go to the flash neutral page. And now what we want to do is we probably want to go and now uh, what well, we're waiting for our account to log in as you can see there we go now I've logged in I'm able to go to the download page and select the correct firmware there we go 20.40 we're taking and I'm going to click flash firmware once I've clicked it you can see now that it's going to say the drones can reboot several times it never said that previously on any of the other firmware ones and once you click it the drone is going to restart and actually disconnect from the PC and then reconnect now here you guys are going to see something really odd going on it's connected, everything works properly, but there is an issue. Because we did not install DJI Assistant, we don't have the correct drivers or items like that, and you think everything is correct, as you can see here, yeah? but it essentially is just, well, it's never gonna work. It just doesn't, it just stays on this page, and essentially gonna give you an error in the log file that it's failed to run the exploit. Now. If you see this, it is because you have not installed DJI Assistant on your machine. Yeah, you can see there's the error that pops up. It's not going to work. Now, there's another error that pops up as well, and it's typically because you have a very slow internet connection, but this is not that error. So you can see we're just going to click OK and get past it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move on and find out how we can solve this problem. Now the error we just saw is because we don't have DJI Assistant installed on the PC that needs the correct drivers. But you will also see a different error sometimes. And that error is going to pop up now. And that is because it's a connection to the server failed basically. So slow internet connection is a good culprit of that. Now if we've installed DJI Assistant 2, then we would not have had that problem. So if you do not know how to install it, it's very simple. All you need to do is just go to the DJI website go to the download center and then you select your one. Because I'm downloading the Air 2S, I need the consumer drones DJI Assistant 2 version. But there are many versions and can get very confusing if you're on the DJI website. So as you can see, I'm on the DJI website now and there are on the software quite a few versions of DJI Assistant 2. Now, if you've got a Mavic Air 2, then you need DJI Assistant 2 for Mavic. It's very confusing. I'm not sure why DJI is doing it this way, but that's the way they do it. But if you've got an Air 2S, which is essentially also an Air, then you need to have the DJI Assistant 2 for consumer drones, which is very confusing. So I'm assuming there's probably going to be a different one for the Mavic 3 as well, but we'll see. Now, 
remember we already have downloaded everything off the drone hacks website so we don't need anything there we just need to download and install the DJI assistant 2 for consumer drones um, most likely going to be either consumer drones or um, DJI assistant 2 for Mavic it really doesn't matter which um, DJI assistant you need to install it is essentially just going to provide the driver that you're going to require you might get a pop-up like you see over here where you need to just say run anyway or click on more info and then that will enable you to install the um, DJI Assistant 2 on your machine. It can take some time. Remember the drone is probably still on so make sure that you keep an eye on your drone's battery and remember if you are liking what you're seeing on this video and it's useful please remember to click that like button and click the subscribe button as well. It really does help out the channel. So we've got everything. We've installed DJI Assistant 2. We are now essentially ready to go. We've got all the firmware on the machine. We are already on the, um, the special firmware source. So we just need to flash the special firmware, well, the correct firmware that we want to do the mods on. And now you're going to see the same pop-up pops up, but this time the drone's gonna start to restart. And when it restarts, it is actually going to show something in the logs at the top of the screen. There's no error message popping up. This can take a while. This, I think it took about five to eight minutes on my machine so I thought I sped it up here on the video but as you can see there are items happening in the log over there which is probably going to give you some comfort but just keep an eye on that but just leave it um, as you can see now I'm just waiting for it to process because there is something happening in the log screen at the top but this can take I think 10 minutes to quite a while so as you can see it is logging in as the drone is constantly restarting i think it restarted three or four times so as long as the drone is restarting and the log files are updating you're going to see when you go to the flash page it is actually uploading and flashing the firmware to the drone it just took a while to restart and bypass that anti-rollback thing so well done drone x really really well done you guys have bypassed the newest and latest a DJI block so this is really going to save us that's already purchased the license but accidentally upgraded so in this case flashing is complete we are now on the correct firmware we can now proceed with the hack so we are now ready and able to perform any of the mods that the drone hack application um, provides so just go over to the hacking page it's going to load all the exploits and I want to load FCC mode immediately because I need that better signal that better range that it provides this can take up to three four minutes the drone once again is going to restart three or four times so just be patient and let it run through um, I always recommend that you restart the drone completely when the mod is completed and then just basically turn it off and take it turn it back on again and then once the drone hacks detects it again it's just going to load the exports as you can see and now you can do the no fly zone mod as well i did not bother with the rc pro compatibility one because quite frankly i'm not going to spend the money on the rc pro it's just too much money but as you can see there we go we have now modded the drone we've removed our no-fly zones and we've also enabled fcc mode so in a nutshell that's all we require to do uh, for the drone x application so well done once again drone x for providing us with this way of bypassing the newer firmware blocks that dji has implemented and uh, making us able to free our drones as always guys thank you for watching um, please check out some of my other videos especially the drone hacks walkthrough video it's going to answer any of the questions that you might have on this one